This is Ryan and Michelle, and welcome to the Celebrate Marriage Cast 5-Minute Friday. <laughs> Hello and happy Friday. I'm really glad that the cameras are rolling because um, Ryan was making origami swans over there. So we almost had a swan teaching class oh, yeah. today. <laughs> yeah. You guys, happy Friday. So glad you're joining us today. And we have an episode about transitions. Ryan, one week from today. Oh, yeah. That's um, all I need to say. Yeah. Oh, man. We send our daughter off to college. Next Friday. Next Friday. Mm -hmm. So I thought, what better time to talk about transitions as, I'm sorry, guys, plug your ears if you don't want to hear this, but school is coming. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah. You know, the dreaded school word. Right. But it's coming. So we want to help you with a few ideas for transitions. So, Ryan, I really have three tips for people. You yeah. ready? Yeah, let's okay. go. Okay. One, be gentle. So this is really speaking out of the emotion that I think we're both feeling with Ella going to college next week. We know it's gonna be hard on us. Um, you know, Ryan, you and her like best buds. She has a great relationship with our little guy, Thomas. He's nine. And like they, it's just gonna change the family dynamic. So yeah. I think when you're going into a season of transition is having a little extra empathy for your family. If people are a little extra emotional, sad, short. It could come out and manifest in a variety of ways, but just realizing like they're going through a lot also and being gentle. Yeah, that's really good, Michelle. So number one, be gentle. Two, communicate. And I know this seems like common sense, but really communicate. We've talked about this so often. Your spouse is not a mind reader. So if you need help with something or even, let's talk about schedules. Back to school brings a whole flurry of activities, orientation, registration, school supplies, schedule changes. Communicate in advance. And I think this is actually, this is, well, I don't, I don't think, I know this is our assignment for you for the weekend is going to have a, a culmination of these three things, but it comes down to this, sitting down and having a plan with your spouse yeah. for what things are going to change. Absolutely. Yeah. Your schedule, your schedule is going to change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just thinking getting up in the morning, do it like all of these things. Mm -hmm. It's going to change. And I think the more that you can get ahead of that, the less stressful it will be and the less, yeah, chaotic. Yeah. So, and get your kids involved too. Maybe it's a family, you know, this Sunday night when you're sitting down for dinner or sometime over the weekend, like just really casting that vision for your kids. And I know for our son, he needs time to transition. So you can't just pull the rug out from under him and say, hey, tomorrow you start school, you're waking yeah. up at seven or you're waking up at 6.30. It really needs communication and it needs lead time. So be gentle, communicate. And number three, plan ahead. Don't wait work with your spouse, figure out school supplies, schedule, like I said, schedule that family sit down meal and just figure out your, your stuff. So plan ahead. That's key. Plan early, plan often, plan ahead. Yeah, that's great. So anything else, Ryan? No, that's great advice. I think uh, obviously it's being aware of what's happening, you know, being, working together on it. Mm -hmm. I, I think Same those team. are such great, such great points, Michelle. Awesome. So you guys get a meal this weekend where you just communicate, you're kind, you plan ahead and figure out how the season of transition will look for your family. Thank you so much for joining us today. Find us at celebrate.church to join us for weekend services and find us at celebrate.church slash marriage for marriage resources. Have a great weekend. Have a great weekend.